Hey guys, it's uh, Joe here with the Automator and Isaiah. We were um, working through this interesting solution that um, Jean Lalonde, the author of Quick Ashes Pop-Up, had posted in the forum. He's looking for a way to kind of jazz up, I think, his QAP. I think, I, I actually don't know. But um, Isaiah was, was asking if I had looked at, I saw that he got an answer, but I didn't look at it. So why don't you go ahead, Isaiah, and start sharing and talking through what we were talking about. Okay, yeah, sure. So um, here's the 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 forum post that we were discussing and he is just uh, asking if he can have like a grid of pictures and select one of those pictures using the keyboard and what happens is that uh, our hotkey does not have kind of like a built-in way to do that right now so uh, somebody uh, he gave examples of what he's trying to do and so on and somebody actually posted um, a nice answer here so let's go ahead and select it and show you what what that answer does. So this is our answer. And when you run it, you have a grid of images and the images they grabbed that from, from a DLL file, right? And they have their images there. And now if you hit the right and left keys on your keyboard, you will see those that little box, kind of like a selector box moving around, which is something that we don't have uh, natively in our hotkey. That's what happens. Now, this is a very interesting solution. Uh, and what I was explaining to, uh, to you a few minutes ago, it was that uh, the, there is a difference between this solution and the next one. The next one is also a very interesting solution. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So this is the second solution. Let's copy the, pe the, the code. Go ahead and paste it. And let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see, again, I have my grid of images, but this time I have kind of like a background, a blue background there. And when I move, the background changes. Now, when I was taking a look at this uh, solution, I noticed that he was using the screen DPI, which is very interesting because it means that this solution would work in different screens. Nice. So in some screens that they have high resolution or, right. you know, they will yeah, all look- The newer 4K the monitors are crazy size right and that's right why so GUIs look like crap on them because you can't <laughs> adjust them yeah right so basically this solution is uh I, i'm not 100 sure how it would look in another monitor because i don't have other sizes but i know that he at least was thinking about taking that into consideration which is amazingly good um but i was taking a look at the code and uh i, I saw somebody saying like wow nice code as always and i take a look at the code and well I would say it's extremely useful code and it's very good code, right? But I wouldn't consider it nice code in the sense that somebody that does not know auto hotkey will not get any idea of what is going on. They would be scared, first of all. And second of all, if they have to make changes to it, like I want to use that for my program, they will not be able to make changes to it very easily because it's not easy to understand what is going on. Now, let me, let me show you the difference between the two answers. And this is the first answer. And what I see here is that the person creates 10 pictures because it's a loop of 10. And then he creates four progress bars. Again, for me, that is a very interesting choice there, a progress bar, but no worries. Four progress bars shows the GUI and then later on, whenever you move the right key or the left key, they both go to move selector, which moves the four controls that he created before. The concept is kind of like very straightforward. I create four lines, which is what is happening here, which create a box. And then later on, I move that box. Kind of like very straightforward. And that allows me to very simply say, okay, so this is a, this is a box. So this is four lines, right? If I remove some of those instead of a box, I might have a little line down there. Look, just one line. I could modify this very easily. And I'm, when I say I, I'm saying people who do not know how to code. They could change that very easily and they would understand what is going on very easily. Now on the other code, I could not say the same. I could get a very good idea of what is going on but it would take me much more time to understand what is happening because he's doing very advanced things. Now, for example, he's here storing a number 
which is going to be either a zero or a positive number. You have to know how the module <laughs> uh, function works to know what he's actually doing there. And after he has this number, he's storing it in N to use it in something that he's saving here. And he's saving the same information for the H GUI and H PIC. He's saving the same N information. And I'm, I right away ask myself, okay, but if it is the same information, why do you have to save it on both places at the same time? Just use one place for both, for example, because it's the same information, right? Um, and then later on, when you go to the moving and, and doing things, he's checking on some things with the hot key that was pressed, multiplying it by two, <laughs> minus one. So what is, what is it that you're doing? And the funny thing is that that is kind of like obf obfuscating code. Because if A, this, if A, this hot key is equals right, it's going to give you a one. Multiplied by two is two minus one is one. So he's just checking if it is true or false. I could just very easily remove that part. And it's the same thing. I could say one or zero. I could do that, which is kind of like easier for me to understand what is going on. The way how he codes everything is not bad. It, it, right. And this is the, it, the point also it, though, <laughs> is which gets back to what typically is the forum's goal is to write things that other people are going to be able to use, right? He was writing a level that he's at and it makes sense to him, which is all fine and good. Right. But yeah, if other people are supposed to digest it and stuff, it's, it's one of those things and we're not knocking either solution. No, 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 no. The, 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 the solution is great. I actually like the solution a lot. I do. Now my, my, my point is, uh, is it nice code? Right. I don't, I don't personally think that, because you overcomplicate stuff that it's not necessarily it's not necessary to do this. You just put there, is it that true or false? And that and that makes more sense to anybody who reads your code because but, they would find is is the al key right? It's true. But, but I would even say I know we talked about this in a different different lesson mm -hmm. um even using ternaries is it, is it really worth it right like you could simplify that even more not use a ternary right and just to have it a little more spelled out where everybody's going to understand it um but right. anyway yeah it's no, it, but, but 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 then again those kind of things now what he's doing here is that he's having both hotkeys fire the same code which is extremely yeah. good sure. i like that. right there now you. the code that's where the part that I would defer a little bit, how he presents it, it's a little bit obfuscated. It's, it's not intuitive what is going on. And again, it's not bad. It's well, perfectly it, fine. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't say it's good it, for new people, yeah. like people who are just learning are not going to understand what is going on. And, and also, and granted, this is the first, we you know, first, as far as we know, the first he's, we've seen this code anywhere. What would be really cool is to then take this and do what I would do is be like, oh God, what the hell? Is, all, right, all right, I'm going to write a function around this with just the parameters I need, so I never have to look inside here because I'm like, it's it's you know it's so hard. Yeah, to you, you would abstract the whole thing into uh, something easier to understand, but then that creates more issues down the line. It because does. Then I know, but at least you way, want to, yeah, you could be like, oh, here's my list. This of is pictures. what, yeah, no, right. No, Okay, that's it's exactly. Yeah. But um, then again, the, the main idea that we always try to push, um, and especially in the sense of trying to make AutoHotKey more accessible to the public is let the public join you in your cool endeavors by let them, letting them read what you're doing. This is not readable. Right. This well, is something that it is not easily readable is what I mean. Right. Well, yes. I'm actually talking in this context of new people, right? Somebody who has never programmed before is going to take a look at that and they're going to be like, huh, uh, this is too difficult. And you, you haven't noticed, but he uses double, how do you say the double reference very often? Like, for example, he is forcing an expression here, right? 
And then on that variable, he's actually forcing another expression there. Uh -huh. So you're not getting what is in selection. You're it's, getting what is inside right. the selection no, selection. It's yeah, it's funny. This morning I, I, I mentioned I was helping someone <laughs> with one of their things. They had an exactly the same thing inside of a function. I'm like, wait, what are they doing here? Because like yeah. this is here and then this is here and it took me a minute to understand to kind of like fall into what yeah. is going on right yeah. so and this is that this is what i mean yeah. if you do not understand the difference between what is this right? right which is a normal text with a variable right next to it to this which is an expression that has the contents of that variable to be used right. as a variable to yep. then be added to yep. this to create a now, man, honestly you, i had to use message is. boxes to understand i'm like oh what, what is going okay now <laughs> yeah so, so, so again the, the code is amazingly good i really love it I, it is a very good solution it is a very good thing now the way how it's written uh, is is uh, what makes it so difficult for people to join auto hotkey because they see this and they say like this is way too difficult i cannot learn this when you can express the same thing in a simpler manner you can do it in a little bit easier way you know well I, again i would say which you know i know you're not knocking this but um often which we talked about in some other day was uh we write things and then later we we actually after we've written it when we go to refactor we suddenly go oh wait a minute here like what I was i thinking it is right you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's why it's so important to go back and refactor right because after you've completed it suddenly you start seeing these patterns and realizing like you know what crap when i first wrote this because the thing is this is what i've run into i start going in a certain direction and over time my thought process and everything i'm doing changes and yet, if I don't go back to the beginning and go, well, wait a minute, when I first started off, you know, I was, I was thinking this. about this and that. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it changes. And suddenly you're like, oh, I don't need all that other crap. And I've done that a ton, dozen times with Maestrieth where we're doing stuff. And then he's like, he'll go back and be, we weren't, we didn't purposely because we, we would never do that. But he'd be yeah. back in the area and then go, oh, crap, I don't need any of this stuff. And he just deleted it all. <laughs> like, God, you know, like, why, why, why did you? Now, uh, yeah, that, that brings uh, uh, different topics regarding, you know, creating comments or, designing right. your program right. before coding that allows you to right. have less of those yeah. but um those are other topics that we might actually talk about another time right awesome thank but you yeah you're welcome we're gonna be talking later <laughs>